everybody. You are now listening to the Overflow Podcast with Jay and Joaquin. Ooh, baby Jesus, I love your ways. <laughs> Every day, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, baby Jesus, I love your ways. <laughs> Every day, hey, yeah, yeah. Welcome to this week's episode of the Overflow oh, Podcast. Oh my goodness! As always, I'm Joaquin, <laughs> and I'm hiding in the corner. <laughs> Jay, and that's Jay. That's Jay. <laughs> that's Jay, and he's hiding in the in the corner. Uh, what's up? We are back for this week's episode. This week is we wish you a merry crema time. It's crema we week. We wish you a merry crema. We wish you a merry crema and a happy new. Gia. Gia. Yo, it's funny. Okay, I had to but I've got, so I've got Bean saying crema. Oh, sweet. I've got, not only have I been saying crema, but when um when we play Christmas songs in the car in the house, right? Everywhere Christmas should be, he says crema. He says crema. Nice. Ah, children. So impressionable bulls. The, the, the bad part is that he says, he says crema is Christmas in Spanish. <laughs> No, <laughs> I, I've never told him. That. I've always told him that that um, right. Crema is how Papa used to say Christmas, right? Christmas in Spanish is Navidad. Like we even, I told you, like we even sing like Feliz Navidad. So he like he, right? He somehow gets it, but he's still confused. But he doesn't get it. That's what you call the unintended consequences. He's gonna be like some kids gonna be like Feliz Navidad, and he's like, but that's not how you say it. It's Feliz Crema. <laughs> Feliz Crema time. <laughs> crema time is here. He's here. Okay, so ready? Yo, speak, Update. Speak. Oh, all right. Update. Go ahead. Yesterday we saw my Christmas, my animated oh, Chris, Christmas favorite. Christmas movie update, yes. Um, We saw the Mr. Magoo Christmas Carol. Mr. Magoo Christmas Carol. I've never seen that one. Really? I might have back in the day. I don't, don't remember. So how was it? Oh. Well, you know me. I loved it. He loves it. I loved it. Yeah, I still that's, haven't. That's uh, like no lie. That's my favorite one of all the like Christmas cartoon specials right. growing up. That's my favorite. Yeah, but Charlie Brown's the one with the most heart. Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Every every Charlie Brown cartoon has the most heart, right? Word. No, but the Christmas. And, um, the Christmas, and the Christmas special them. is the one because you know, and it's, and it's the only Christmas cartoon. That, that, that has the Bible in that it. That has the Bible in it. That right. it ends with, I can tell you what Christmas is what Christmas is all about. That basically Brown, preaches. And he and he reads and he well doesn't read, but he quotes. Yeah, Luke, he, he, Luke he quotes chapter Luke chapter two. two. But the thing with this is basically the Christmas carol, right? A retelling oh, okay. of the Christmas with carol. Mr. Magoo. So it's not like a Magoo Christmas special. Gotcha, it's, gotcha, gotcha. It's the retelling so, so of the Christmas carol with Mr. Magoo. So, so he's he's Scrooge? Yeah, he's Scrooge. Excellent. Right, and there's some Excellent. there's some songs involved. Like Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol is the one cartoon that is known for having the saddest, like the saddest Christmas song ever in a cartoon special. Oh wow! So you haven't shown him Elf though, have you? Oh no, we saw Elf. Oh, uh, did he like it? No, he, no, that's what I told you. Like he wasn't. No, because you told me he did, he did he wasn't into um he wasn't into any of them. He wasn't into Elf and he wasn't into the Santa. Santa Claus, Claus was the one. I I don't remember us talking about Elf. Yeah, yeah. Because he's like a human cartoon. You would have yeah, thought. Yeah, but he it's like it's live action, so he's not really interested. It doesn't catch his attention. A weirdo. Right. He doesn't catch his, I mean, his attention. We, <laughs> what do you expect from somebody that says Merry Crema all the time for everything? Like, that's what we all say. <laughs> <laughs> like um, the cartoons. All that they, yeah. like that yeah, sucks I think, yeah, I think we were like, right. Um, I think he needs to be about six or seven for the yeah, movies. Yeah, like um, like the Polar. Ex- so far, the Polar Express is the is the is the is, jam. is the is the winner for him. Is the winner jam? Like like cause like even um, like all like Charlie Brown Christmas. Like he watches, but then he'll like color or he'll do something else. Um, the Mr. Magoo Christmas. I was the one that was like, shut up, shut up, be quiet. <laughs> right? right, right. And we did it while they were were eating lunch. Right, so he was distracted. For Polar Express, like not only did he get up, right? Like he he got up and he sat on the floor in front of the TV, right? And it was like Seva, Seva, got to throw something at him for him, like yeah. snap out of it, like that right. that right okay, there. Okay, so that's, that's Mr. The Magoo, all right, Mr. Magoo. So what you got left? You got uh, you going through Christmas up to Christmas up through the twenty fifth? Um, I don't know. Or you're these like next few days are gonna be mad busy. Or you're like I don't know what other Christmas movies. I don't, I don't know what's like. I don't know what's left. Um. 
Yeah. Like we did all the Frosty the Snowmans, the Rudolph, Rudolph. with, you know, the Island of Misfit Toys. We did the Year Without a Santa Claus with the Heat Miser and the Snow Miser. Like we've done all of those. And those were- Yeah, the Grinch. Right? We did all the Grinches. Okay, because we did the original cartoon. Right. And then the right? animated movie. The animated movie and then the the, the Jim, live action the that Carrey. he could care less. Yeah. He could care so less. Seems, there seems to be a pattern. Ooh, well, you well, know what you can show him? The live action Grinch. I'm not you really know what a you fan can show of that one either. Batman, Batman, the animated series, had a Christmas episode um, with the Joker. That's right. They do. Might be a little too dark. <laughs> I'll look for it. Because, you know. DC Universe, <laughs> yeah, DC Universe. It'll be the second. It'll be the second That's episode of season. Ball. It'll be the second episode of season one. So that might that. There you go. That's I'll, my contribution. I'll do that one tomorrow and that's, see. That's my contribution. See what happens. And Justice League. I think the the Justice League had a Christmas episode with the Flash. The original Justice League. I believe it is the original Justice League. And Young Justice also had one. And Young with Kid Flash. Yes, but that one wasn't really Christmassy. Mm. It was just him running in the snow to take the heart. Yeah, for Christmas. But it wasn't really Christmassy. Yeah, like, it wasn't. I'm, yeah, it wasn't Christmassy. You're right. You know, we have the Joker. You know, trying to take over Christmas. Trying to ruin yeah. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. The Flash, who loved Christmas. So, so yeah. So Flash, Justice uh, League Unlimited. I'll probably, I think it was Justice League, not Justice League. Unlimited. I'll probably show him that one over the Batman one because like the kid loves the Flash. Might be too dark. Show well, them. Yeah, they're both like twenty five minutes long. I'll see. That's like a, he, it's a mini movie. <laughs> like, but yeah, but like 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 he loves the Flash. So, I never hear anything about Superman or Batman anymore. Right? What? All I hear is the, 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 look how fast I can run. I'm fast like the Flash. Like, oh, like the Flash. I'm fine. It's all about the Flash. I'm okay as long as it's not anything Marvel. I'm good. Word. <laughs> like today, he we were at. Old, he just show up with like, look, I'm fast like Quicksilver. We we were at Old Davy, and he was like. Look at that Batman shirt. Like you have a lot of Batman shirts. The Superman shirt, Flash. You have a lot of Superman and Flash shirts. I don't have a Captain America shirt. That's because Captain America sucks. <laughs> so here's the Batman shirt. <laughs> you can never have to. That's because Captain America sucks. And I get, I get the side eye. You stop teaching him that word. Okay, that's because there's no Captain America yeah, in our Captain house. Captain America stinks. <laughs> Um, word, <laughs> word. No, nah, man, that's dope. Uh, yeah, man, I, I'll tell you what, man, I have, I, I bought, speaking of Christmas, I bought my gifts. I still haven't wrapped. I'm supposed to be working overnights for the next couple of weeks. So I have no idea. I got to wrap my secret Santa gift tomorrow morning before I come into work. And then. Oh, you guys did a secret Santa at work? Yeah, we did a secret Santa at work. That's dope. We do it every year. We didn't. I didn't do no, it last no, year. No, not even. did it this year. It's not that we didn't. What's funny is that it's, my secret, we did, but I wasn't. The person, I wasn't at work for the it. The person I got the secret Santa for is somebody that I don't think really likes me that much. Ooh, that's and awesome. And I'm not really a, necessarily a big fan of this person. That's great. But that's, I, but that's I, what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. So, um, so I hooked them. I hooked them up with some cheaply made gifts. Hopefully, we'll, call, we'll maim them. No, I'm just kidding. I, I got them with the one. I got them. That explode as soon as you plug it in. As, as soon as they put their feet on it. <laughs> Activate. <laughs> oh, that was nice of him. I got a foot massager. Why are my feet so hot? <laughs> Why is it counting down? Oh no. <laughs> um, but no, nah, man. It, you know, for me, uh, it's. I don't know, man. This year feels a little weird, Christmas, Christmas wise. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm all kind of out of sorts, but. Um, it was dope yesterday at church. This is like your first Christmas with a girlfriend in years. Yeah, I got yeah, it's my right? first Christmas with a girlfriend. Should, in years. Maybe that's why I feel so weird. Maybe that's what I feel is uh, it's yeah. off. It's like, wait, there's somebody there that, <laughs> that actually likes me. Um, so but, funny story. But I got I, I I got her. I hope she likes the gift I got her. She better like the gift. I know you're listening. I thought you I, better like the gift. I, I thought got you. you were the gift you got her. I tried that. It didn't, work. It didn't, it didn't work. come over. It didn't come over well. No. <laughs> Yo, so funny story. Um, Magda, of course, right? She was like, "Oh, what are we getting? What are we getting Joaquin for Christmas?" I'm like, I'm not getting him Jack. Yeah, don't get me nothing. No, but we all we we always do get you something. And I never and I never wear it till I lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> we always do get you something. Even like the time we got you that 
that dop kit. Yeah, like, which I used, which I used for like years. Yeah. So like we always get you out there, right? But this I see. So she, that's why she's like, oh, what do we get him? What are we gonna get him this year? So I'm not getting him jack. We don't have to get him a dang thing. We don't get him right. a damn thing. Nothing. Nothing. She said, like, but why not? We always pick something up for him because he's got a girlfriend now. Now yeah. he got somebody it's to her, buy him something. Her job. <laughs> You heard that? So he was like, so she's like, so so what? So because he has a girlfriend, now we don't buy him any more Christmas gifts. Yes. And I was like, and add birthday to that and too. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. And then Seb, I was like, no, we gotta hook up the No, but yeah. Yeah. The and both he, and he used yeah. those words. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. Nah, man, we gotta hook him up because you don't know if this is gonna last no, by we past know. Christmas. <laughs> we don't want him to have a sad Christmas. <laughs> Oh my God! So yeah, we finally got off the island of misfit toys. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't want you to have a blue Christmas. Oh, that's cool. I appreciate it. So, yo, speaking of blue Christmas, so yeah, yo, so my mom told you. So you know, this is coquito season. I'm a little upset with you because I haven't got no coquito from you. I don't think you've made any coquito. Yes, I have, and you didn't bring me none. You so damn now, right I did. now I'm triple upset with you. <laughs> there was, no, but yo, there's nothing left. But yo, you should always put a side. I was a little bit side for deal. But yo. <laughs> You saw me Monday. You ain't my tío. Um, <laughs> I'm Seba's tío. I'm, uh, Seba don't know nothing about coquito. <laughs> Yo, mom, mom's, mom's made that coquito with turron. Yeah. Which is this, uh, for those who don't know, turron is like this European candy that we love. Pe- it's it, basically it, like an almond bar. Yeah, it's like an almond bar. Um, pretty big in Latin American countries mm-hmm. for whatever odd reason. It's, but, a, it's a Spaniard thing. Yeah, but yo, <clears throat> yo, it was legit. It was good. Was it? Yeah, and so, the thing was because when, when she blended it, it did it. So she blended it. Right, she blended okay. it, it did it. So it still had little pieces, obviously, because you, she's not going to liquefy it, right? She needs a she needs a ninja. So um, there you go. Now you know what to get. Now you yeah, know what to get moms for, for Christmas. But get no, her but, a ninja. but you know what? I liked it. With it's almost it was like boba. You know how boba's got the little <laughs> or when you drink like the pulpy, the pulpy yeah, yeah, juice, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, I love orange juice with pulp anyway. That was yo. It was, it was legit. Baptized or not baptized? Baptized. It was legit. Now it might have needed to be a little more baptized. My mom is not a drinker, so she right. she puts just enough to give it a little bit of flavoring. So I, I told you my secret, uh, my secret to <laughs> to coquito. Right, right. But it's um, a three three parts three parts Malibu rum, one part coquito. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So yeah. So so check this out. So this year. Right after our conversation, after Jay Blaze called me out for being an old guy, right? <laughs> I um I looked up like different ideas for coquito, right? And of course, the main one that's everywhere is the pistachio one. Yeah, so, man, so that's why everybody's doing it. Man, and I'm, man, no, I'd rather have I'm not pistachio a, I'm not than a, ice cream. I'm not a big pistachio fan anyway. Yeah, so I, I, lo- I like wouldn't. pistachio ice cream, but I mean, I'll eat pistachio ice cream. But but I'm I'm more I'm more choice. into butter pecan than pistachio yeah. ice cream, right? But anyway, mm. so I thought about. I'm thinking, all right, you know, let me do one thing of um normal. of a uh, one normal and then one where I try something different. Right? So I I, t- I told Mark that she was like, no, no, no. Ah, I hate messing with these. Oh no, no, no. Right. Just leave it the way it is, right. leave it normal, right? Right. Leave like, like I don't right. like then I'm like, I made then I made fun of you. And right. and I was like, and I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. Nah, not shot. So, so my brilliant idea, um, and if I like the way it comes out, was was it a? I'll hook you up. Was it a pelil coquito? <laughs> Adobo coquito? No, but after after Clima, we'll probably have some more pelil pierogies. So I'll it, I'll remember to <laughs> to try to bring you some and not I eat just, them all. I just need one. Um, coffee. Coffee. So, like, I use coconut creamer anyway. Sometimes, right. like, I'll make some coconut creamer right. or even add, like, the condensed milk as creamer or the coconut cream as creamer, right? So, make some cold brew, right? Just to keep it cold. Make some cold brew and then just pour it in. And just pour it in. Maybe, you know, go little by little so, the, so it's not too coffee. Like, too, or not, yeah. or not enough. Yeah, and just so make some coffee coquito. Like a coffee coquito. That, yo, that sounds dope. Yo, mom's or Becca. I think Becca's coming up tomorrow, uh, Monday. And even like, gr- like, add some espresso, just some like 
a slight hint of espresso grind to it. Yeah, but um, I still, yo, I think Becca's coming, making, uh, she's gonna come make some, uh, so make, so make some of that pacha coquito. Yo, that pacha coquito my mom's made last year. Was that good? It was dope, man. It was bomb. It was so good. Yeah. So I'll let you know how it comes out. If I, I like the way it comes out, I'm, I'm going I'm to start small just for myself. Right. Right? And if I like the way it comes out, then. Or you can, or you can do medium and then just bring it and we'll <laughs> sip it together. And then, and then the then podcast we'll, will really get interesting. And then we'll take an Uber home. <laughs> the podcast will really get interesting. <laughs> But nah, man. So yeah, like uh, Jenny tried it, loved it. Matter of fact, then she started looking for recipes. So she found a pineapple coquito. What? I was like, you go, girl. You know that's just a piña colada, right? <laughs> nah, not really. Pineapple coquito rum. That's a piña colada. A, it's a piña colada coquito. <laughs> no, it's a piña colada. Straight. No, because it, of, of the condensed milk. Yeah. Remember, there's no condensed milk in... Um, true, true, but whatever. That's just a piña colada. And you would drink it if it was good. Yeah, I would drink it anyway. It's a so piña colada. Sh- so shut your mouth. <laughs> I so- actually found one with like pineapple. I, you know, then... Uh, Jenny, you can't do that because that is cultural appropriation. <laughs> so, dumb. so dumb. Yes, Yo, Jenny. It's, it's funny, you right? make it. No, it's funny because uh, somebody asked me that about Magda, right? Because right now, my Polish wife makes arroz con gandules better right. than I do, so I don't make it anymore. Right. Right? I'm just like, I quit. There you go, baby. You make that arroz con gandules. You make it because it's right? better. Because she, yo, oh, and she does it where it's not, um, it's not like sticky. It's not pegajoso. So, um, right? So I love it. So it's like, oh, but your, your Polish wife is like making like, like a, a classic Puerto Rican. You, you don't think that's cultural appropriation? I say, I'm like, cultural appropriation? Dude, cultural appropriation was when I married her. <laughs> Right? Yeah, I, like, I've never... It, like, how was it cultural appropriation if, like, we're married, right? It's not like she went, she found the recipe and made it, and now she's selling it as her own thing. That's cultural appropriation. Like, this is my thing. I did this, right? Right now, we're married, right? Our... our <laughs> Yeah, our, see, yeah the, our, our kids are multicultural. All, like we're, all, we're married. All cultures are appropriated. Like there's no, there's nothing in any culture that they, they anyone can say like this is this is. I mean, it all it's all influenced by something. Like everything, right? And it's it, all and, influenced by something. And especially when it comes to food, right? Because food is like, oh, I'm gonna try this food. Oh, like okay, like me, right? Me with with my my guava barbecue sauce. The reason why I made it was because I went to a restaurant and where they had guava ribs. And I didn't like their sauce. Right. Right? It tasted, for me, it tasted bad. Was not enough guava and it had no bite. So I went home and said, you know what? I'm going to do my own. Right. right? Boom. I'm going to make it happen. And, you know, I mean, when it comes to food, it's good to like it's try good. and experiment so and do all these things. You know, other you know things. what it is? It's, I, think, I think what it is is, I think here's what it is. Everybody's too butthurt now. I, well, I think what too, it is is, too that too pe- is that people get mad. So, so let's use Coquito since we were talking about that, right? Dale. So if if someone that's not Puerto Rican, and let's be real, they don't get as mad when it's another Latin person. It's always if it's just a white person. Mm. So if a white person or non Latin or non Latin makes makes a coquito, yeah, and you taste it, and you're just like you're low key jealous, not mad, but jealous because you're like, yo, this coquito is a hundred times better. Like my coquito's good. But this takes my coquito out to the back alley and beats it up, <laughs> right? Because it's that good. So you're mad. It's mad not because they make coquito. You're just mad because they made it better than you, and you're supposed to be the quote unquote but expert. But it's funny, right? Because right? but that's like, what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Like I tell people, I tell people, yo, don't ask me those questions because don't care. No, yeah, because I'm weird. Like I don't get mad about that as long as you're not disrespectful. Like if you as long as you're not blatantly disrespectful, I don't care. Cause like Tim, um, Timmy Chi up in New York, right? He um he texted me um before Thanksgiving. Right? And he told me that he was gonna try to make up a name for Thanksgiving. Right. And I was like, Well, you, where are you getting your recipe from? Right? And he was like, Oh no, I found, you know, on the internet, this website is like, hey, if it's not a uh, a Latino website, right, then I wouldn't trust it. Right. Like, that was just that's just my thing. Right. Like if it's not uh, like a Goya, Goya's penne recipe. Yeah, there's a Puerto Rico you know recipes, I think something like no, that. No, 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 I, 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 I have it and I sent it to him, 
right? So I was like, oh, like don't trust it, right? If it's like some Mrs. Smith's pernil, nah, don't trust a, a Spanish recipe from a non-Spanish person or non-Spanish website. And then you website, find out Mrs. Right? Mrs. Smith is Puerto Rican. She's just married to <laughs> a guy. She's married to a white guy. Oh, I got Smith. So I sent them the. She gonna say angry lady. I, I sent them the. <laughs> I sent them. I texted him the um, the Puerto Rican recipes like website whatever. Right. I don't know what it's called 100 percent. Yeah. But I sent it to him and he was and then at the Thanksgiving, like he texted me, hey my pet need yo it came out great. It was like hey hold on a minute, hold on a minute, All right. How many Spanish people were in your house and they tried it? Cause, like, like it, like somebody who's like, who knows the flavors or whatever, they need to taste it and see if it's good. Like, I'm, I was like, no, 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 because it was just me bothering. It's like I'm not oh, gonna, okay. I'm not gonna say that it's good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna think that it was good until I try it. So you're gonna have to come back to Atlanta <laughs> and make, make and mix and make some here. He was like. Um, <laughs> what? If I come down to Atlanta, you better make some. I'm like, oh, yeah, of course we'll do that. Just, you know, nah, yeah. come down I, to Atlanta. I, I don't know. I don't like, care. I don't for, think... for me, again, for me, if you are not blatantly disrespectful. But what's blatant disrespect? Like, if you say something like, like oh, What does that mean? I don't like, know you're like, means. oh, you Puerto Ricans think you make the best Benny, but Benny wasn't good until we started making it. Like, crap like that, that's garbage. Uh, like, don't. Who says that? No, I'm just saying. No, I'm, I, using, I'm, using that, I'm using that as an example. I'm like, if, that's a dumb example. If, if you're saying stuff like that, right? But you see, I don't think. Or, or, or if that's the stance that you're taking, then that's right. being disrespectful. You don't, need to, you don't need to trash a culture to make you, but you see, or yours a, that's better. That's the thing, though. That I don't think anybody really. I mean, generally speaking, no one does that. How'd you be surprised? No, generally speaking. Generally speaking, no one does that. Those are the exceptions. It's like for somebody to say, well, I'd, most people that, that do the fusions of other cultures, whatever, they're, they're always very respectful of, of the other culture. You know, I don't care. Just make it good. I don't care who you are. If you make a bomb pernil, I'm going to eat your bomb pernil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you make, you know, um, a bomb mofongo, I don't care where you're from. <laughs> you know, like it's you made a bomb mofongo. Like it's mofongo isn't. And if your mofongo is better than mine, then you're gonna tell me how you did that. That's right. Then you, then I'm gonna be mad at you because you made better mofongo than me. I'm not gonna be mad. I was gonna be like, <laughs> be low key mad. Yo, Jay will be low key mad. I'll be like, yo, what 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 is that? What what do I taste there? Did, like you, your, did you seriously add nutmeg to this nah, mofongo? You're gonna be like, what am I tasting? They'll be like, your tears, because <laughs> I made better mofongo than you. <laughs> Then be like a uh, pilon drop, <laughs> <laughs> but no. Nah, you see, man. like 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 stuff like that, man. Like I don't care, man. Like just I don't make care. It, just make it good. Just make it good. You make know, good. I, I, like honor it. Make it good, and we good. Like I, that's. Like, a, I think for me, see, I don't care. I don't care if it's not traditional. If it's if it's good, that's the problem. It's like people try to do crazy stuff, but then it doesn't come out that good. But mm-hmm. they swear it is good because it's like like the like the like the pernil pierogies, right? Right, like my, that was against it for a long time because right. whatever. And then when we finally did it, I was like, "All right, so maybe the next time we try this, you know, since it's um basically leftovers, you know, we have to do certain picks, right? And then maybe I need to season it more, or maybe saute it a little more to then add it right. to the to the shells." Yeah. So man, all this food talking, I'm stopping to get something to eat. But anyway, so yo, so coquitos on deck. We gotta go to Cumberland, but make sure we don't get shot. Must yeah. My, my sister, <laughs> I don't. My tennis shoes aren't worth, aren't worth. They're worth twenty bucks. Oh, you're so southern. Um, tennis shoes. So, uh, Coquito's gonna be on deck. My mom just asked if she should make some. My sisters were like, uh, "Hello, is the sky blue?" <laughs> and I'm gonna drink all of it before they get there. So, boom, boom. No, I can't. Cause I gotta, no, no, I don't work till ten o'clock tomorrow. I can drink all the Coquito I want. So, you guys gonna do? You gonna do your crema tonight? No, no, we're no, 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 no. Um, we're doing it. Um, we're doing it. Uh, Christmas. We're we're eating at like five on the twenty fourth because I got to be in at ten. Oh, okay. So we're gonna eat early. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Like since, so, you know, again, back to 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 la hacienda. You know, it's it's multicultural. My house is multicultural. Right. So Christmas Eve this year. So every other year we do we go Polish we Christmas. Polish Christmas and and, and regular Christmas. Right. And regular <laughs> Polish Christmas. And speaking of appropriation, we do Polish Christmas, then we do uh, and do regular Christmas. So this year is Polish Christmas here. So it's the same thing, same thing. Like dinners at five. B 
because the lady, remember I told you um, two years ago, she hires like a Santa Claus. Right. So he's coming at six. Oh, okay. Yeah, right? So it's a little earlier this time. He's coming at six. So because of that, now I have to go to work and like rush, <laughs> rush everything at work for the entire week. Oh, that's right. Right, for the entire week. The newspapers for the week. So, so, you, so you can get out early or not, so I can get or out, not go in. Yeah, get out early. Early enough to like pick everybody up and go to dinner. Yeah, that'll be fun. And then we're gonna have Christmas, regular Christmas dinner, the next. So day my in my hope house. is my hope is next year. So next year I won't be working overnights. So I'm not gonna do this again. And my hope is next year finally we're gonna take. Well, I mean I'll still work, but it just will be during the day. We'll take unless I get the the, ma- the supervisor's job, then I won't be working. Word. The hope is next year we're gonna combine. The Peruvians and the Puerto Ricans, and just have a smorgasbord of pelnil and guinea pig. Just the big. But what do you mean? Like they'll bring the families together, like her sister and everybody, yeah, or bring, bring the families together. Wow, that's the hope. And you know who brought that up? Not me. Yeah, I know it wasn't you. You had to tell me that. The old man. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He was like, oh, you know, next year we get all everybody together and. That's called a wedding. <laughs> and, and I was like, what? I was, I was shocked. At the, the, the. No, but I'm like, yo, dope. Dope Peruvian food. Dope Puerto Rico food. Yo. Just means dope eating. Yo. Bum, bum, bum. I might invade I might invade your house. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? I might invade your house. Hey, hey, the Puerto Ricans came Puerto up. Puerto Ricans. We got pierogies. We got penny <laughs> pierogies. And we, and we got Polish arroz con gandules and mofongo with kielbasa. And mofongo. With some smoked Mo, kielbasa. Mofongo, yo, re, a, a mofongo a relleno. A mofongo relleno. With smoked kielbasa. All right. And the okay, and that's enough. We got to talk about other stuff, man. Yo, we, we got lost that's in the an, food. I know, but that's an idea, yo. That's an idea. Um, all right. Let's uh, quickly, and so we can jump on, on the last day of Christmas. Advent. I, that's what I said. <laughs> um, so, uh, trailer of the week. Uh, is uh, Tenant called Tenant? It's got um, I'm looking at the it's got thing. new Batman, it's got Robert new, Pattinson, it's got new Batman, and it's got um, Denzel Jr. Denzel Jr. Uh, direct, oh, what's, what's his actual date? Uh, I have no idea. Directed by um, the guy who directed Batman. Why am I? I just don't know names today. Um, what is his name? <laughs> Nolan Christopher Nolan. So directed, right. direct, Christopher Nolan, directed right. by Christopher Nolan, we got um, uh, Denzel's uh, son, who, whose name we have completely blurped out on. We have, <laughs> um, and we have Robert Pattinson, who's new Batman, who we're excited about, you know, being new Batman. Um, yo, check the trailer out. The movie is- John David Washington. John David Washington. That's his name. Dope. The movie looks very, very dope. Very, um, you know, it reminded me of um, Inception. Very kind of Inception. Yeah, it's, it's got it's got a it's good got this, sci-fi feel. Yeah, though. it's got the and it's got this weird like there seems to be like time it's travel, like Inception, and, and time cop, and yeah. <laughs> all this stuff. Like it's it it looks dope. Yeah, so we're excited. and it looks like even though Pattinson's in it, at least on this first trailer, it looks like the main focus. Oh, well, yeah, the main the, character is going to be Denzel Jr. Denzel Jr. and then Pattinson comes in. I think they maybe team up or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But it looks, uh, it looks it looks really very good. dope. And then of course the song "Keeping It Christmassy," uh, Danny Gokey, who has for whatever reason we've really begun to become fans of his. With his, I think it was when he did the song with the Social, Social Club. Club, and then we found the other stuff he did yeah, in yeah, Spanish. Yeah. So he anyway. So Danny Gokey. And David La Chuleta, David Archuleta. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> um, I did uh, Silent Night in, in Spanish. Spanish, Noche de Paz. Beautiful. Yeah. So I I did look for it to see if maybe that was just doing it in Spanish because it also did it in English. And no, it's, yeah. it's just it Spanish. Like it was just Spanish version. So they did Noche de Paz. Check it out. Beautiful. It was a beautiful. Um, rendition right. of very simple, super clean, super simple. I think that's what I love the most it was, about it. It was they it didn't try too. It's beautiful. So you know, check it out. Goki being the you'll, you'll the, enjoy the honorary Boricua. Um, I'm so impressed with his 
with his Spanish. His Spanish diction, yeah. Right? Like, I'm super impressed. That's the thing. His diction is pretty on point, mm-hmm. which is the hardest part. Right. Right, the R's, the the he 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 eats. He, I mean, listen, S's too. Right, right, because like we're Puerto Rican, right? We get made fun of because they know we we they say we turn our R's to L's and we mm-hmm. eat the ends of our words, and so we get we get being picked on because of our diction. <laughs> right, but I'm that's not what that, I'm saying. Like, not that when, our feelings are hurt right When um, please stop. It's funny when I met him, he didn't speak Spanish, right? But then when I met him with Magda, that introduced him, and oh uh, yeah, you know, it's my wife Magdalena. Then all of a sudden, right, that that happened so much. Like he started speaking to her in Spanish, and I'm like, no, 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 she's not, yeah, she's she's not, she's not Latina, man. Yeah. She's Polaca. <laughs> it's the best hundred dollars he spent on that Rosetta Stone. That's what I'm saying. Um, he, was, you know, he he did it because he wanted he wanted to know what his what his uh, in laws were talking about yo, about him. Yo, no lie, ready? No lie. <laughs> I'm on my Rosetta Stone every day. That's why Jay's trying to learn Rosetta. He wants when he goes to Poland and Jude, he wants to know what they're saying about him. <laughs> You're damn right. He'll be looking at my, him like, I can't respond, but I know what you said. My, yo, my father-in-law was like, yo, you need to learn at least what people are what people are saying when you're in Poland. Right. <laughs> I'm like, Jay will be like, Polski, Polski, Polski. <laughs> <laughs> They'll look at him like, what? What? Poland, Poland, Poland? Poland, what? Poland, Poland. <laughs> <laughs> but you say it with confidence? Right? <laughs> say it with anger. With anger? Right. Well, this, so, guy, this guy isn't too happy. Right, this guy's really right. pissed at our country. Oh, so, why? um... All right, so let's go ahead and just jump into um, what was that? First, though, <laughs> oh the story. What no? story? I oh, know. First, what the announcement? Oh, the announcement. We totally forgot. We got so <laughs> we got so you, caught up. What you say? So the announcement. So we are proud to let people know that this episode of the Overflow Podcast is sponsored by New Release Today and the We Love Christian Music Awards show. Yeah. Right. Next, you know, so next month we're gonna have Kevin of New Release today on on the Overflow podcast and on the first thirty to talk about the awards show. I think right now they're up to like over six thousand votes. Nice. Right. So you can go to newreleasetoday dot com so you could cast your vote for your favorite Christian artist or Christian music, yeah, and all Christian the, song, and all the different categories they have. You know, the, um, the super dope categories. I already voted. Right, oh, okay. <laughs> I already voted, and I gotta say that um, there are a lot of artists or bands that I'd never heard of. <laughs> right, right. Well, that's how we've discovered some artists. Yeah, right? yeah. Because we we Just, went on there, and then we we're like, "Well, who's this?" And we listened to them, and then we're like sending each other the videos. Oh my god, you did yeah, yeah. This? Just just now, <laughs> the same thing happened. Um, and then there were, and then I was happy to see that there were a lot of artists that um, we listened to on like the Spotify's indie right indie playlist that are. That are also up there, you know, ready to win some Christian music awards. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, big ups, to, big ups to Kevin over there at New Release Today. Yeah. So go to newreleasetoday.com and just click on the We Love banner, or you can find the link to the Christian music to, well, to the to the voting to the voting to yeah. the voting on the Overflow Podcast dot com. So starting this week, starting this week. So yeah, so go ahead and uh, cast your votes um, and discover some some new music that maybe you've never uh, you never knew was out there. Some really dope artists that are that don't always get to shine. And the best thing that I love about the We Love Awards is, are the the categories. Yeah, right. Like, like he's, the, got, he's got great crack. Yeah, cr- crack cracker <laughs> Great cracker, categories. Crack categories that I wish crack um, categories. Other award shows will pick up. So um, all right, cool. So that's that. New release today. dot com. We love Christian Music Award. Um, all right, so now is the Pastor Jay portion of the program. All right, so what up, we're, Pastor Jay? We're on the last week of Advent. Yep, let's light up the candle. Whoosh. <laughs> oh no, the building's on fire! Right, so we'll week stay one till we finish. Week one was <laughs> you'll stay. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> right, week one was faith. Week two was prepare preparation. Right, week three was joy. And week four is love. Ooh, baby Jesus, I love your ways. <laughs> See, you're so stupid. But I'll be taking, love. I'll be taking bookings right? for next year. Um, it's funny, right? Because I, <clears throat> I spoke about a little bit on this without realizing, because you know, Advent and the following of Advent is new to me. This is the first time that I that I've done it. Um, but on this week's um, 
Legacy Nights when I finally got up after the whole Christmas thing. Right. And I spoke a little. I spoke a little on this fact that, you know, that we we want to glorify, we, we tend to glorify the things that we have romanticized Christmas to be. Right. So we we tend to to think that that um it was easy for Mary and Joseph, right, to be to you know, to give birth to to Jesus. Right. In this, you know, because it's like, oh, no, there was no room for them anywhere. But then, you know, we romanticized the fact that they were in a nice barn right. and everything was clean and it was an easy childbirth because it was Jesus. Right. We think that the pregnancy was easy because we don't hear about it. But, you know, we know even in today's culture that um, basically Joseph married uh married someone who was pregnant by someone else, right? right? That's how it looked, right? Right. So the jeers and the the judgment and all that, right? You know, and, and even like, let's like let's be real as men. Let's be real, um, <laughs> right? The woman that he was going to marry comes up and say, hey, you know. Yeah, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant and it's God's baby, you know. Mm, that's, mm. Why, that's why Gabriel had to show up to Joseph too. Right, because right. it was like, hey, <laughs> yeah. yo, 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 it's legit, it's right? legit, it's it's real. Please yeah, don't, funny, right? don't take Alejandro, her out of the Alej- street and Alejandro, stone her. Alejandro, pastor the uh, in first Espanol, was, was talking about this. He was like, don't come to me talk about, oh, this is God's baby. <laughs> Get out of here with that right? nonsense. That's like, but let's let's be real, let's be real, you know. And then Jewish custom, that happens, right? Right, having a baby out of wedlock, he could have had her drag her out in the street and get yeah, stoned. He, he could have, um, and that's why in scripture it tells us that he he was he he was gonna try to work to quietly, right, release her and let her go so she could just go off because by law he could have been like what, and then right they could have he could have he could have gone and this is what this is tells you a lot about Joseph right I think right. this kind of overlooked a little about his uh-huh. character right because <laughs> people think oh you know he stayed with her. Because God told him, and that that's that shows character. Well, no, an angel shows up and tells you, "Yo, I'm from God. You, you need to stay. You, you gonna stay. You gonna stay." But, but the fact that when he found out she was pregnant, that he tried to quietly end the marriage or end the engagement, the engagement, yeah, right. So she could go off and 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 have this baby that he didn't immediately, right, just go nuts and was like, "What." No, I'm ex- you know how dare you? I'm gonna mm-hmm. I'm gonna bring you before the whatever the courts and I'm and gonna. And it showed. It also showed. Yeah. It showed his integrity. It showed his character, but it also showed how much he loved her, right? Where he chose to do that rather than just expose her before the right. entire and, and shame her the, and shame her before the entire town, right? Um, you know, and then let's let's you know again through a guy that's been at the birth of all his children, <laughs> right? Right. Um. It's not easy, right. right? It's not easy, right? That's why, that's why um, hospitals offer drugs so that you don't, so that women don't feel the pain. As a father, you don't suffer, having right? To run through all that. <laughs> right? But they, you know, no drugs, right? It was in a cave, so a cave where they keep animals and and just garbage and junk, right? So. It wasn't in the I mean, yeah, it's in a the barn. clean. It wasn't in it's the an, cleanest uh, listen, in the cleanest conditions. Go right? to go to any any barn. Barns in, are not clean. Any any barn that is that that you are know? active that are being used. Yeah, they're not. They're not. Right? Clean. Don't don't they, go they to don't some smell great. So, to some picturesque abandoned barn that's like falling apart and it looks artsy. Go to a barn that's being that, used. That's being used. That actually has animals in it yeah. living there. Right. The smell. Forget about it. Like yeah. you can't get past that smell. So I mean, he's in a he's in a. What I mean, and that's the thing, right? And don't if if you need to picture a barn, picture a barn, right? Because that's what he that's what he's in. That's what mm-hmm. they were in. It was just their version of that. But it wasn't a barn the way we right the way we romanticize it now. Because you see it now, it's like it's all nice, it's clean, it's got the star head and the right. wooden frame. Like you know, it was in a cave. Well, the barn was in a cave. You know, right? so and, but if you need to picture a barn, picture a barn. Just know <laughs> that it stunk. It was and, very and, stinky. And the manger was basically the trough where they fed the animals. Right. The manger was right where they put the the feed for the. Right. Um, so so the thing is the thing is that you think of that right you think of that and you don't have to be a parent you know you don't have to be a mom or a dad or whatever to to think of that and know that you would not want your child. To be born under those conditions, right, right. But 
But that's the joint, right? We're talking about love this time, right? And scripture says right, it's the most used verse. Whether you're a Christian or not, you know John 3.16 because it's in all the sporting arenas. It's in all the games. It's in all right. the everything, right? Where it says, you know, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that those who might believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. And then 317 continues to say, for he did not send his world to condemn the world, but so that through him the whole world might be saved, right? And, and like I said, I have, I have five children and one grandson, right? And I can love you so much, but I can never love you enough to sacrifice one of my kids for you. Right. Right? Never. Catch even, him on a bad day, right? Though. Even if, <laughs> he'll think about it. Even he won't do I, it. Right? But he'll think about it. Even if I don't, and especially if I don't know you, right? Right? Especially if I don't know you and you're a murderous scumbag, right? How? Like the, the, the well, no. I, let me let me switch that for you. Oh, go ahead. Especially if I know you and I know you're a murderous scumbag, remember? Because <laughs> God knows His people. That's right. That's right. Right. But, so it's not like. So it's not that God was like, oh, I don't know these guys, but I'll do it anyway. No, right. God, right? Scripture tells us, right? God knows the <laughs> right. well, zero for me, the number of hairs on our head. <laughs> no, you got you still got a little sign on the side. The ears. So <laughs> so God, so so switch that. It's not that God sent his son to, to, to die for, to for those that know him. Die, for those that don't that he don't know. Right. He sent them, he sent him to die for those that he knows. Hmm. Which is even so which is even worse. Which is even right? a, a crazier sacrifice right? to think right? of. Right, because let's think of like, let's think about the worst humans in creation, right, that we know of, right? right. Let's think about the Joseph Stalins, right? Let's think about the Adolf Hitlers, right? right? Let's think about the, the Maduros, right? right? The, the AOCs, right, gotcha. Right? <laughs> right? These are horrible, murderous people who murder right. their own people, Right? The Khmer Rouge, like all these things right. that happened in our lifetime, right? Um, right? Let's think about the kid that killed my nephew, right? right? You know, because these are all, you know, and that one's super personal, right? Right? But God sent his son, his only son, to die so that even these people may could, be saved. Could have a chance to be reconciled right? with even him. Even these people yeah. could be reconciled with him, yeah. right? Not only That's did he thing. send his son, but he sent his son under. Horrible, murderous conditions, right? right? Because that's why Jesus, Mary, and Joseph had to go into exile because had Herod to, wanted to had kill to flee to Egypt. all the children, right? Under two. And all of these things happened, and he endured these things, and he allowed these things so that we, whether we love him or believe in him or not, can be reconciled to him and find salvation on the right, right. side of eternity. Right. So the, to the fourth, the fourth day of Advent... Right is the is the greatest motivation of of why we celebrate Christmas, which Correct, is yeah. you know which is love, right? You know, love is is the thing that motivates God um, to send Jesus. Love is the thing that motivates Jesus to die on the cross. You know, three years later, right? Um, Love is the thing that motivates us to accept his sacrifice. You know, um, <clears throat> you know, and, and then through scripture, you know, even through scripture, right? That that's the thread, right? You know, that right. kind of that kind of goes the, the entire, goes, goes through it all. The the entire Bible, especially the the New Testament, but the entire Bi- Bible is 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 one super long. Love song, right? Especially the New Testament and and the life of Christ, it's 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 like the the crescendo of of this this epic of this epic story of love, right? And 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 it, and it boggles the mind, right? It, it it boggles the mind, and I say this, and I said this before that the the hardest thing to accept about Christianity is its simpleness, right? Right. There is no, there are no tasks to be done, right? There are no things that you have to sacrifice. There is no, like, it's real simple. The, the, the simple thing about Christianity is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Right. And everyone is your neighbor. So it's love your enemies, 
Love those who persecute you. Right. Love those who reject you. Love those who love you. Love those who want to be with you. Love hold. Love those who don't want to be with you. Love right. those who agree with you. Love those who disagree with you. Right. Correct. Love those who love you. Love those who hate you. Right. Because no one showed that more. Right. Than Jesus, not right. just with his life, but even Jesus on the cross. Right. When crucified, hanging, nailed to a cross, he still cries out, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they do. Right. right? Everything that Jesus was about was about loving those who love you and loving those who hate you. Right. Right. The whole, it was, it's, 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 it's the most blatant love sonnet in all knowledge and in all creation. Right. Right. And, and like, like, like Joaquin said, what, what pulls us and what drives us to celebrate Christmas is not happy birthday, Jesus, but we celebrate the fact that love on that day, right? On that day, eternal. Um, well, on that, yeah, on that day, eternal. Um, um, <clears throat> that, and on that day, the love of God wasn't just an idea or a concept, right? But it became flesh. It became flesh, right? The love of God became living and breathing. His love, His love came into this being. That was birthed, and it and it and it and it was placed in a manger, in a dirty manger, yeah, for mankind to be saved. Now Alejandro used this; it blew me away. This example is fantastic, and I, and I think it, it works here. Just imagine. So when we talk about the love of God, when we talk about Scripture, tells us all you have to do to be saved is what confess mm -hmm. and, believe. and believe. So you believe that the love of God has been placed in the manger that is your heart. Ooh, the dirtiness that's in the that dirtiness is that is in that <clears throat> heart. It love goes there willingly when you invite it in. Right. It goes there. Think of think about it. Think about the times you've listen. Think about the times you've stopped at a at a at a gas station I, to use the bathroom. I'm impressed, Calde. <laughs> that you you stop to use the bathroom and you open the bathroom door. And it is filthy. And you turn around and you walk away. What do you do? <laughs> well, depending on how bad you got to go. <laughs> That's true. Right? right? <laughs> you suck some breath in. And if you're a guy, you, and you stand there and you just get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. And then you just, depending on how bad it is, you wash your hands. You just get out. You just out. Because the, the water might come out, might infect you. You don't even know, right? It's that. I mean, we've all stepped in, the, in those kinds you of things. You get hand sanitizer in your car. Right? Or you buy some in the yeah, store. You rub, the you rub your hands in the dirt because it's cleaner. <laughs> it's probably cleaner. So think, think that our hearts are that the filthiest. Think of the filthiest bathroom you've 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 ever encountered in your life. That's our heart, and love mm -hmm. was love is willing to be birthed in that place. In that place, yeah, that's word. To then, like a Puerto Rican grandmother, take out some. Clorox and clean Clorox. it out. Fabuloso, right? Um, hardcore ones use Clorox. Yeah, true. The Clorox to, to to clean to clean to clean your heart out. A spick a spank. A spick a spank. Remember that? There you go. <laughs> now now you're tracking. Love was born in a manger in a filthy, dirty manger. Remember, babies are super vulnerable when they're yeah. born, right? Um, <clears throat> but you still. God was God's love was so great that He was still willing to 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 think of it in a in a way like chance it right to right. risk it for us. Not only that, but that's what we're that's what we're celebrating. But, but we 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 expand in a couple of days. We expand on that right, and we re, we we read that that same love was also announced to the most outcast, rejected pariahs of of a people, right? Because the lowest job that you can get in those times was the job of a shepherd, right? Because you spent all day with animals, you smell like animals, people didn't want you around. So the shepherds were always separated, right? They were always separated from everybody else. And they were seen as the lowest, as the, as the lowest people, right? And the angels decided, or, it, or the angels went, like, and not just one angel, right? But a horde of angels went to the mountaintop where the shepherds were. And they announced to the shepherd, to the shepherds that were gathered there, that love was born, right? And I learned something. Um, yeah. 
I learned something. I learned that um, I think it was in church today. I, ooh, ooh, I learned ooh, that, that, those, the, that those right. shepherds, right. that those shepherds weren't just any shepherds, right? That the flock that though that they were shepherding were the flocks of the lambs that were separated for the sacrifice in the temple, ooh. right? So those were the those were the sheep. Those were the lambs that were separated because. They were born without defect, right? They were born and they were pure in in, in every sense, right? So even even in oh my god, it's mind blowing. I'm nerding out right now. So even in that seemingly minuscule thing that happened, right? It's like oh the shepherds, but they were they were they were shepherds of the unblemished sheep, right? Which is yeah, basically, uh, which yeah, is a saying, foreshadowing of what yeah, Jesus that, was. Yeah, saying this, the 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 lamb is here, like the the lack. You know, it's funny. I was I was gonna say I was gonna say this as a as an aside because I gotta crack this joke. But the angels, right, appear to the lowest of the low. Angels didn't appear to the influencers, <laughs> right? Didn't appear. So no one at your no one at no one at your church. Di- didn't <laughs> right? Didn't appear. Didn't appear to the um, what we call the platform chasers. Oh, appear to the lowest of the low. Then appear to Herod, right? Right, the king of the, the Jews. The king, right? Then appear to the famous, right? The prophets, right? Then appear to the you know to the to the to the fancy schmancy preachers of the town. No, yo, he appeared. He appeared to those of us, to those that are the, the outcasts, the he ones to the misfits, to the, the outcasts, the ones that me and Jay are always like, yo, those maybe the the ones that you the know one, what the ones that we are, the ones no, <laughs> the ones the ones that end up shooting up schools. <laughs> I'm gonna say it right. That's who we appear to, right? To those kids, to those guys, the guys that people look at sideways and maybe crack jokes about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, word, right? Maybe those guys that we need to be keeping an eye out for and talking to and hollering at, especially. You know when when we are in those situations and figuring out, yo. You know, the thing is, the thing is, and not and not chasing after. Oh, that guy has got juice, so I need to we, talk to we, him. We we celebrate we celebrate on Christmas Day. We celebrate the fact that love was born. Love was born in a humble manger, right? Love was born in a humble manger in the lowest of places, right? In the most um, like my my words are escaping me, and in in, in in a place. Where you would not even think of stepping into in the bathroom of a convenience store, right? Even stepping into or, or looking or looking at twice, right? And and this is this is the this is the um, this is good lord. This is the takeaway, right? This is the caveat <laughs> that if God found it fit, if God found it fit to have His Son, His only begotten son born in such a place so that you and I might live and so that you and I might live in love and be reconciled to him, right? Then who are we to deny showing love to everyone that we come across, right. to everyone to that, we, that, that we <clears throat> bump into, everyone that we see, yeah. right? And it's not about preaching to everybody, right? But it's about Showing them love in in the smallest, most minute way that we can, because not I mean you can't preach to everybody, right? right. You can't preach to everybody, but, yeah, but you can you, love everybody. But, but you can love everybody. You can respond in love. You can react in love, right? You can speak in love, in love right? Yeah. And and again, I mean, we call ourselves believers, right? <laughs> it's no, it's no secret that the old full podcast is for believers, but we call ourselves believers, so. If God found it fit so that his son, so that love could be born in the worst of places and be announced to the lowest, most rejected of people, right. right? Who are we to think that we can't show God's love to everyone that we come right. across? That's it. Right. And that's Christmas. Now, you know, so now I have to go back and go, yeah, you know, um, unless you're beefing with your coworker that you did the secret Santa with, then, <laughs> then you ain't going to that's off the board. No, <laughs> but that's <laughs> but that's true. No, um, that's it. You know, and it's and it's uh, and I, I'll add with this. I'll, I'll finish. My last thought is, you know, and it's and it's tough, and we don't always succeed. Yeah, but that does not mean that we don't always strive to respond 
in love. Period. Dot. Cross the T. Dot the I. Scribble, scrabble my signal. <laughs> drop the mic. <laughs> um, no, no, don't drop the mic. Um, and that's it. So, hey, listen, guys. Advent, this last love Christmas. Uh, we're recording this on Sunday. Christmas is is three days away. Yeah. Right, two days away, I guess, uh, depending on how you how you, if you count today, then it's three. If you don't, then it's two. Enjoy your Christmas. Enjoy your time with your family. Um, if you guys, if you get or give gifts, enjoy your gifts. Have fun with them. Uh, enjoy the time that you spend with your friends and your family. Right. Love them fully um, over these next few days as we look into the new year. <clears throat> um, and just from us at the Oval Podcast, Merry Christmas. Glad that you stuck with us so far this year. And uh, glad for those of you that will be with us uh, this next year as we continue to try to grow and, and just do our thing. We love you guys. Thank you for uh, being here, here with us. And uh, as always, I'm Joaquin. And Feliz Navidad. That's Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Remember to go to the overflowpodcast.com to subscribe to the podcast on all streaming platforms and catch up on all the links of the week. And don't forget to follow our playlist on Spotify.